Hi students, let's continue with the instruction phase execution. In the previous video, I explained the one part of the instruction phase execution. Uh, that is the example. There I have taken the ordered instruction issuing. So whatever the instruction I have taken, that is the uh, uh, instruction x is equal to, let me take the example x is equal to y plus z and a is equal to b into c these are the two instructions so these two instructions are following then in order instruction issuing if you follow the in order instruction issuing it takes the total time required to complete these two instruction it takes 18 clock cycles so if you didn't watch the video first try to watch that video and come to this video okay so in this video what i am doing here is i want to reduce the total time required so that is the 18 clock cycles I want to be reduced. So how can I reduce? And what is the use of reducing? If the total the total time required can be reduced, if the uh, reordering should, so if, uh, the, if the instruction issuing order, whatever the instruction issuing order is changed to eliminate the unnecessary delays due to dependency. So here in the previous video, you can see there's so many dependencies are there. So until that instruction is completed, the another instruction uh, has to be wait and because there is a dependency relationship is there. So try to reduce the delays. Dependency still it is, it will be there. But anyhow, if you change the order, there is some time can be reduced. So how you can uh, reduce this? So the reordering should not be changed the end result. The one thing you have to remember, whatever the reordering you are doing, so the end result will not be changed. The same result should be there. So first what I'm doing here is the memory, I'm first doing all the memory operations, all the registers, are, uh, the operands I'm moving to the registers. Memory of Y will be moving to the R1 register. Okay, I'm just uh, doing the memory operation and the memory of uh, Z will be moving to R2 register and the memory of uh, B is moving to, uh, let's take R4 register and memory of C is moving to R5 register. Okay, now the, now the addresses are stored in the registers, now perform the operation. So first R3. R3, the content of R1 will be adding to the content of R2. So, our values are added and move to the R3 register. Now, let's take R6. The content of R4 into the content of R5, moving to R6 register. Now, to the memory of X. So, X, the content of R3, the value will be moved to the memory of X and memory of A. The content of R6 will be moving to memory of A. So, I just changed the order. Previously, I have taken the, uh, after the completion of the first instruction only, I have taken the second instruction that is in order instruction issuing. Now, I have changed the order. Now, let's observe what happening here. How many clock cycles it is taking. Okay. So, first fetching. Uh, I said fetch decode issue will take only one cycles but execution will be taking three cycles according to your problem. Fetch decode issue execution takes three cycles and then write back. So there is no dependency relationship until these four instructions. So for fetch decode issue execution and write back. Fetch will be started at the end of the decode stage. Decode issue execution execution write fetch, decode, issue, execution, execution, right. So up to now, there is no dependency relationship. You are just worked out. Now coming to this instruction, R3, the content of R1 should be added to content of R2. Fetching the data, there is no problem. You can fetch. Decoding also, there is no problem. You can decode, you can just uh, decoding the operation. What operation it has to be performed? Opcode, that is the uh, addition. Now issuing, Whenever you have to reserve the uh, resources and to get the operands from the registers. So, first try to complete these R1 and R2 execution part. So, at the 6th cycle, execution part of R1 is over. So, at the 7th cycle, execution part of R2 is over. So, here until the completion of uh, R2, you have to be wait. 
because issuing means it's nothing but reserving the resources and getting the operands from the registers if you want to get the operand from the register first try to move that complete address the execution part has to be over so after the execution part of this r2 is also over then start issuing execution and then write back okay in the same way coming to the sick this one fetching no problem decoding will be start at the end of the issuing now issuing issuing means r4 and r5 uh, complete data has to be address has to be moved so execution part need to be over r4 execution will be over at 8th cycle and r5 execution will be over at 9th cycle so wait until this execution is over now start issuing execution and then write back now coming to the this instruction fetching data no problem okay decoding also no problem at the end of the issuing you have to start the decoding decoding is also no problem okay now coming to issue issue means let's try to complete the execution part of r3 because the content of r3 has to be moved so if you want to move the content of r3 try to complete the execution part of r3 so when this execution part of r3 will be over at the 11th cycle so wait until this 11th cycle and start issuing means you have to get the data from the operand you need to get the operands uh, from the re registers okay execution and then write back now coming to this instruction so that is a memory fetch no problem decode will be start here now issuing r6 execution has to be completed then only you can start the issuing so the r6 execution will be completed 13th cycle so wait until execution is over then start issue execution three cycles and then write back so this is about the uh, not the in order so i just changed the order now let's see what is the total time required here the total time required how you are going to calculate the total time the total time you are going to calculate it as the uh, the time is measured at the beginning of the cycle 4 beginning of the cycle 4 that is the when the first instruction start execution until until the last instruction start execution the last instruction start execution at 5 15 the last instruction is start execution at 15 okay so uh, count including those numbers also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 Uh, sorry uh, so total it takes the when wait wait instruction issuing so fetching a uh, decoding once again so r3 so r3 is fetching the data and uh, it is started decoding so decoding whenever it is starting decoding try to complete the execution part of these uh, r3 okay so whenever the execution part is over you are started issuing and then okay fine a small let me check okay fine so what is the time required 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 total it takes 11 clock cycles in between okay so total it takes the 11 clock cycles so in the previous it takes the 18 clock cycles but here it takes the 11 clock cycles thank you